Hey guys, happy Tuesday night. I hope all is well in your world and is all well. Here at Enough Said Sports as we come to you with a preview and prediction for game two of the NBA Finals. You're going to have the Milwaukee Bucks traveling to play the Phoenix Suns yet again there in the Valley of the Sun for a rematch of game one. Uh, as we head into game two of the NBA Finals, the point spread is going to be uh, minus five in favor of the Phoenix Suns. Uh, with everyone healthy on both sides, it looks like that's where the spread will be. And also the over-under is at 218.5. So let's talk about tonight. Obviously, uh, it was a tough one for us. Uh, we finally lost the cheese alert. It's the first one we've lost in the history of this channel. So that was really disappointing. Um, I knew, uh, found out late Giannis was coming back. I uh, didn't think that would necessarily affect our position. Uh, I don't think it did. I just think the Phoenix Suns came out tonight and they uh, did a great job. Uh, I thought the difference in this game came down to a couple things. Uh, one being that the Milwaukee Bucks did not utilize their size. Uh, I thought Coach Bud did a, a very uh, horrendous job uh, with some adjustments in the game. Uh, you had Jay Crowder on Brooke Lopez most of the, most of the time in single coverage. Uh, that's the time where you throw that ball down in there to, to Brooke Lopez and let him go to work. Uh, a lot of you may or may not know who haven't been watching the, watching the NBA quite as long, but Brooke Lopez uh, came into the NBA as a low post presence, very, very good uh, down there in the paint area around the basket uh, as evidence to, as to how good he was before Giannis returned. Obviously, that changes the, the court a little bit as far as uh, how they pack it, pack in the paint because you don't have to honor Giannis's jump shot. With all that being said, it doesn't matter, though. He had Jay Crowder singled up. They didn't take advantage of that. Uh, I thought the Milwaukee Bucks did a very poor job on the boards tonight. DeAndre Aiden, uh, I believe he had 19 rebounds or something like that. Uh, so, huge rebounding night. He cleaned the glass very, very well on both ends. I uh, did not anticipate that happening either. So, that was definitely a surprise on both ends in that regard. I thought the Phoenix Suns did a really good job. I, I figured, um, and I had alluded to it earlier in my preview and prediction video, I figured that, um, you know, Chris Paul and Devin Booker would get the bigs on switches and they would be able to score their points. I just thought that on the other end, the Milwaukee Bucks would do a better job punishing them down low, and they didn't do that. Uh, also, the Milwaukee Bucks have to do a better job not fouling. They foul the, foul the Phoenix Suns way, way too much. I thought that the, the whistles were a little sensitive on that end. I thought that the Milwaukee Bucks didn't get some whistles that they probably should have gotten when they got fouled. But nevertheless, 26 free throws is entirely too much. Uh, there was about a 16 free throw difference in, in attempts, and uh, the Phoenix Suns missed one free throw all night, and that was a huge, huge difference. The other part of it is that I thought the Milwaukee Bucks did a very, very poor job taking care of the basketball. Entirely too many turnovers. Giannis had a, a couple of opportunities down in the paint area where he had huge advantages over uh, smaller guys, and they poked the ball out, caused turnovers. Uh, and I thought those two things were, were the difference. And, and the Phoenix Suns were able to get out and run and transition. That created some more points, created some more fouls. They just did a, a overall much, much better job uh, taking advantage of the Milwaukee Bucks and getting the matchups that they wanted. They also were able to get uh, some small players on DeAndre Ayton, and they were able to utilize DeAndre Ayton down there. He did a phenomenal job shooting the ball 8 for 10 tonight, 80%. Uh, really can't ask for too much more than that from your big guy. He played big and he did a, did an amazing job. So in game two, uh, this is what I'm looking at. I, I do believe that Milwaukee turns this thing around uh, in game two. Uh, I'm going to stick with them. I do believe that Giannis is going to be better than he was tonight. Giannis did average over 40 points a game in the regular season against this Phoenix Suns team. Uh, I think he was probably a little bit winded uh, coming back from his injury. And he just wasn't quite himself as far as his conditioning yet and his rhythm. I think he, I think he plays better uh, in game two. I think he's a much more decisive player. And I think the Milwaukee Bucks will do a better job on the boards. I think they clean the boards. Uh, they get some offensive rebounds. They don't give up offensive rebounds. And tonight that was a huge, huge deal. 
uh, with the Phoenix Suns, it seemed like every time they, the Bucks would get close, they would uh, get an offensive rebound and hit a three or something. So uh, I think all of those things uh, flip around a little bit. I do like the over again. I like the over to 218 and a half uh, like that. I think that stays the same. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I like the Milwaukee Bucks plus five. I like them to win on the money line. And I like the over. I just think there will be adjustments made on Milwaukee's side. Uh, I, I will say I don't necessarily have a lot of confidence in Coach Bud. But I do think that uh, Giannis is going to play much, much better than he played tonight. And I think that's going to be uh, a huge difference in, in the outcome in game two uh, there on Thursday night. So uh, that's what I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments. As always, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of them. Uh, it sucks to lose, but uh, it's part of it, part of it sometimes. And uh, we're going to have to bounce back and uh, get back up on the horse and uh, go get us a win on Thursday. So that's what we got, guys. Thanks as always. You have a great and wonderful Tuesday night, and I will catch up with you very, very soon. Thanks, guys.